Hello everybody, myself Sandeep Jos. Today we are going to see uh, how to configure a cluster on Windows Server 2012. So here I got two virtual machines which is installed on top of Hyper-V and uh, now we are going to configure a cluster. I'm logging into the DOVM one and the virtual machine is in a the server name is SQL node 1 because I am going to create a SQL cluster on this machine and the second machine name is SQL node 2 so I logged into both the machines now uh, I am going to the server manager so that I can start installing the failover cluster The failover cluster in Windows 2012 server is a feature uh, which we need to install from add or remove roles and features. So in both server I have server manager open. Click on add role and features. Click next, next. Next. So this is a feature. Uh, before that we need to install the dot and framework, uh, which I have already done. Now click on failover cluster. Click next. install. Again click this option okay this will automatically restart the server if required. Now we need to do the same thing on the server 2 that is SQL node 2. Failover clustering add features next restart the server install so now this is going to take a couple of minutes I have already joined these two, both of these machines to a domain. The failover cluster installation. Uh, need these servers to be a member of a domain. We can see this message. To manage your failover cluster, you must be logged with a domain user account. A domain user account is required because you need access to Active Directory domain services and to all services the cluster, including remote servers. So now I have logged in as a local administrator. I have to log off and log in back as a domain user with a domain account.
Okay, now I logged in as a uh, with a domain account. How to do the same thing on the second server? Cluster aware update, failover cluster manager. Server manager is booting up, that's why we, we have seen that error message. Click on validate configuration. This wizard will help uh, us to validate all the configuration before we start configuring a failover cluster. So here we need to add the nodes. The first name is SQL node one. I got both nodes listed here. Okay, both nodes got added. Click on next. Run all test. Click on next. The validation is going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, we got some error messages. It's about to finish. Okay, we got a summary report. Okay, we can go to the uh, report and see what all warnings, what all are errors is generated. Click on view reports. So here we will get a detailed report about the network storage. I can see few warnings about network and storage because I don't have a cluster shared volume. It's also giving some error about the network validation because I have only one NIC card uh, connecting on connecting the servers. The recommended way is to have two NIC cards. One is for the heartbeat and one is for the real usage. The disk error is uh, because I don't have a 
cluster shared over here. Now we can create the cluster. We need to give a name, cluster name. The account we are using to uh, run this wizard should have permission to the DNS server. So when we when we give a name, when we type a name over here, cresp on DNS server respective IP address will get assigned. I'm going to name it as SQL cluster. Click on next. Click on next. Okay, let's go completed. So we have the cluster running and two nodes got added to the cluster. Thank you everyone.